Welcome back. We're in the studio again, but we are putting all our focus on the summer top now. Now that I cleaned the studio and like did a reset, I'm putting all my focus and effort into making this top come to life in the next week or so. And I think, I honestly think we're in the final stretches. If you have been following my channel, you would have seen this top kind of pop in and out a couple times over the last few months. And I don't know why, but it has given me such a headache. Things have just not worked out or my vision just like didn't come to life the way I wanted it to. So a few times I had to just step away, clear my mind, work on something else, and then come back with a fresh perspective. We are now coming back, hoping it's like the last time we do this and that we can really nail it down. So actually I started, the last video I showed was like regarding the top, was when I made this one and I really liked it but I didn't wear it at all, mostly because the weather was kind of shit, so I didn't really have the opportunity. And when I put it back on, I decided I actually want to make it longer, so I made this and added five centimeters or two inches to the length. There's pieces added on the side, but it's for a reason I'll get to in a second. The other thing I wasn't loving was the darts turned pleats on the back, which is not sitting right. It kept buckling on the back. Like, everything was good. It fit very well. It was just, the back wasn't doing it for me. So then I thought, what if I add go days on the side just to add volume and do more of like a fit flare kind of silhouette. So that's the direction I want to take it in. I want to add more volume to the bottom. Now the other day I actually made a size large because I wanted to fit it on my friend who has bigger boobs than me and see if it worked on someone who's more busty, just like where the darts fall, does it pucker funny on the front. So we ended up doing a fitting with this. I've noticed if there's any kind of like bust line, it never works for me. With the darts, like if there's a mm -hmm. dart here. I'm more wondering like if I do, I can, instead of doing a seam here, I can bring this up and here rather than worrying about where the bust is. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if you did this, if this was just a tad bigger here, I would, I think you would still be able to just tie it and like a little skin would show, but it wouldn't be much. Yeah, it's why I don't like where the bust line sits on it. Yeah. Because I like it oh, that's like cute. You, if it's very like, yeah, 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 yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's cute. I like it. I like it. From this fitting, I learned a lot that this type of construction with side darts was not working and I need to change up my pattern to do princess seams instead. And then of course I wanted to test out adding the volume on the sides and I think it's definitely where I want to take it. The first thing I need to do is just change my pattern draft and it's what I'm working on now. I was just looking at some footage back and like, oh my goodness, this is so visible. I have a massive bump on my forehead and it's a pimple, but I didn't know it was so visible. Like it's quite big. Oh well, such is life. We're just gonna rock the forehead pimple for the video and hope it goes away next week because this is not cute. Oh well. I was in the middle of changing my pattern pieces. Like these are my two back panel pieces right now, but I ran out of my drafting paper from my huge roll that I had. This is all I have left. <laughs> Not good. I already ordered a new roll. It's coming later this week. Thankfully, I have this massive piece of paper that I saved from our studio clean, which I'm so glad I kept because this should get me through today. Yeah, I need to trace this and move this Bart. <laughs> Bart. <laughs> this dart into the armhole to create that princess seam. If you're a sewer, you know this is the worst. I just spilled all my pins. I 
I officially finished all the alterations to the pattern and switching the dart into the princess seam. So I'm going to just show you what the pattern is looking like now. They're all like little Frankenstein pieces because the piece of paper is almost done. So I was trying to use as little as possible. Everything's just like taped together. When I get my new paper roll in this week, I'm going to trace it and make sure that they're perfect. I was kind of thinking maybe we should just do a very quick mock-up first just to see how the princess lines are falling before we even like commit to a final full sample. Now all my fabrics are organized, which helps a lot. What to do? But I think I'm just going to use this because I already, yeah, I already cut it up. It's just like an old bed sheet. Yeah. Let's do this. This one, it's like a minty one. really dumb thing and cut my fabric without thinking about how big my center front and center back pieces are and now I have this huge chunk of fabric but it's like unusable for this project <sighs> I gotta cut some ties from this but I need to use other fabric for my center pieces I'm just gonna use this trusty stripe one because it's of the same kind of weight as the other one I just cut so I may as well use this. cut we have the front pieces side front middle front and then the back pieces center back side back and I just randomly cut some strips for the ties and yeah we're just gonna whip it together just to see the general shape of it if I like I'm more concerned about how the flares are gonna sit I made the shirt. Love the pattern combination. But I just want to quickly try it on to see how it's fitting. I'm just going to put it over top of my t shirt. Not bad. Let's just tie it up. Okay, I think I know what I want to do. I want to even out the hemline and this I'm going to add a little bit more in the waist so it's not so tight but move this tie in line with like where the waist comes in and out because right now I feel like it's sitting a bit too low so just like bring that up but other than that here it's fitting really well with the tie. I also made the shoulders a bit narrow, which I think is okay, but that still allows you to cover your bra strap if you want. And the bag, actually, I'm also liking this. Like, it's fitting quite well, actually. 
but this is like so straight so i definitely have to like just even out this whole hemline and make it like nice and round and curve it out so we just have some adjustments to do let's see if i have enough paper for this i think i do It took me a while, but I managed to do all the alterations to my pattern pieces and I had to Frankenstein it even more. Like you can see all the little pieces added and like cutting away. I just, I honestly only have this much paper left. I can't even make another pattern piece from that. We're going to make a final sample, like doing all the serging of the seams and adding the binding. I like to do this just to be sure, like what's the final length once the hem is rolled and what does the neck look like once we add the binding. I just need to make sure that everything is working well and all the seams are matching up, all the notches are matching up, which is also important. I was stressing over what fabric to use because I wanted to be something different for you, something cute. And I decided I'm going to use this little roses one. It's like the tiniest little rose tulip. I don't know, floral print. There's a pink side and a white side. I think I'm gonna do the, ooh, the pink one's kinda cute. I think I'm gonna do the white side though. It's like an old, it looks like an old crib sheet or something. But I love the little like frilly edges as well. I just have to take these two apart and then we can start. excited to work with this fabric it's just something that's really cute and different than what I've been staring at for the past while <laughs> just good so far and then I'm gonna have this one here and then one two three four my straps here space there okay over the past few months of like creating this whole design I was getting really down on myself just because it was taking me so long because initially I wanted to actually have it out for me for the summer and that was the whole plan but things just kept going wrong and then I was just like hating everything I was making and I had to remind myself that when I relaunched my brand when I came to the Netherlands I wanted to change the way I worked because when I was doing it in Toronto I could just tell I was like burning myself out I was rushing everything I just like wasn't proud of what I was making in the end and I wanted to approach it this time by taking the time to make sure that the pattern was exactly how I wanted it, that the quality was there. Like I didn't want to regret what I was making and be very intentional with what I was putting out. So I had to remind myself that a lot this time, be like, okay, Al, you don't like it, don't sell it, you know? Make sure it's right, make sure you love it. It's also like, this is slow fashion. This is what it means to be intentional with design and releasing product I'm proud of. And I'm not a factory, <laughs> so I can't pump things out as fast as other brands or retail stores. It's fun to show the like handmade process and like how much work really goes into making clothes. Oh, it kind of matches my pants. Oh, this will be a cute reveal after. Can't wait. I honestly didn't even think about my pants when I was choosing the fabric, but it's going to be a good outfit together. It is cut. We are sewing. Those are straps for later. And I think I'm honestly just going to sew all the seams together and then serge it all in one time. I think that's actually the fastest way to go. Okay, amazing. My notches matched up perfectly on the front seam, so that's a win. Now we just need to do the other side and continue on with the rest. The one concern that came up with 
having a hole open front was if you are bigger busted how does that work with a bra and i was talking to my friend about it also another friend who has bigger boobs than me <laughs> saying like would you wear it with the bra like how would you kind of style it and my one friend said honestly she would just wear a bralette because the bow kind of covers the bra anyways or they would wear a different top underneath like more as a layering piece I just did the final stitches. I'm gonna give it one last press and then we'll try it on and I'm really hoping this works. I say that every time, but we'll figure it out if it doesn't. Let's give it a press. I'm actually quite happy with it. I feel like it holds its shape so well with this style of panel, like it's fit and flare. I like it. We're on a very good track. I think next week we'll be figuring out the large. I think it's gonna require a little bit of special placement from the bows. I'm really curious to see how the princess seam here works on a larger bust, but I think this is the right decision. I mean, the last one totally wasn't, so <laughs> it's gotta be this one. But I will see you next week. Bye. -bye. Also, hopefully this goes away. <laughs>